Good morning. Oh, it's a nice morning. It's been so hot in Montana, and now we're cooling down. It's like a beautiful, like, I don't even know what the temperature is outside, but it's really, really nice. It's a little foggy, it's a little hazy. Uh, it's been smoky, man, there's been fires. And it's really nice that it rained a little bit, so thank you to Mother Nature here. Uh, driving to work, you'll be seeing this uploaded the day the bags are going live. So the bags go live tomorrow, uh, they go up for sale, and we're trying to figure out the pre-order situation, because what's going to happen is they're going to sell out extremely fast, right? And when they sell out, we want the site to switch over to pre-order. So, we're trying to figure that out. I have a feeling it's going to be about maybe one to two minutes, sell through the initial bags that we have, and then it'll go to pre-order, and then those bags will ship in about 30 days. But there's like a little glitch, so we're trying to figure that out. Feeling good, boys. Feeling fucking good. <laughs> See? That's what I wanted. About to shoot this bag. Um, what you have to end up doing is, uh, and this is what I do a lot too, is I use foam and I use paper. And I'll fill up the pockets, right? Because that's why you get like a nice smooth. Um, this is something that, I don't know why people don't know this, right? So there's a thing called styling. Um, you know, if you're on a professional photo shoot, you hire a stylist. Um, and then if you're just one guy, uh, you style it yourself. But what I do is I take, I take paper or generally whatever I have and I'll fill it up. And that way, like the bag will have the best shape possible. Right. Um, so I've been doing that forever with everything. It's the same thing as like, if you pin the back of a t-shirt or anything like that, I try not to manipulate clothing like that because I feel like that's a little deceitful. But being that the bag normally has things in it, uh, if you shoot it empty, it'll, it'll look like this a little bit more, right? But I guess you guys can find out. This is how I, uh, I fill bags. So I'll fill these. I'm going to get them nice and smooth so I have to do the least amount of retouching possible. And um, we're going to do some photo shoots. Everything, all of it. The brass ring, or just above it. Keep punching, keep breaking it down. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Hey man, I'm kind of sleepy. Um, when do you think that I can sleep? Not tonight, baby. So we got a lot more work to do. But first, we're gonna lift some weights, just a little bit of weights. And then we're gonna run out and look for a house for my boy. And I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna keep ripping on artwork. Tomorrow's the day, today's the day. If you're seeing this today, today's the day. Taking a little break from work, I'm out on a mission. We are out in the middle of nowhere right now. Uh, my boy Ant wants me to look at a house for him because he's thinking about moving here. So I called up best realtor in Flathead Valley was McGavin and we are out here really in the middle of nowhere looking at uh what is this 1.6 million dollar house and I'm here and to 20 look acres at the horse stable and Dana for saw him. a horse stable so she's here so you going to look at this real quick tired your boy's tired 7:45 at night or in the afternoon or whatever we call it one last push on this bag artwork Everything, all of it, the brass ring, or just above it, keep punching, keep breaking it down, heavy is the head that wears the crown. 
You're a king, boy. You're a king. Let me hear it, boy. Let me hear you sing. You're a king, boy. You're a king. Let me hear it, boy. Let me hear you sing. Everything and then some You got more, you are not done You're in the middle of a hurricane Your whole heart, your whole brain It just passed midnight, which means in 12 hours, the bags will go up for sale. We don't have a lot of them, but they're gonna go sell out and go right to pre-order. Going back, going back, back, back to 2010, when the brand first started 14 years ago, or 13 years ago. I found out that like transparency was one of the best things that I could do, right? One of our, our first big releases, the website crashed at our 9 p.m. release. We had 2,200 people hit the site. I had built the website, so it wasn't able to like hold up to anything because I'm not a web designer. And I remember how mad people were right and I felt like I let everyone down so I picked up the phone and I aimed at myself and I posted a video just sort of explaining that it was my fault and that uh, I was embarrassed and I was sad and I felt like I let people down and I was going to keep working until I fixed it that was a long time ago But one thing that always stuck me with me there was just like transparency's dope, man. People rallied, people appreciated me telling the truth. Transparency's dope. So in honor of transparency, I'm gonna say a few things. One thing was towards the end of last year, I realized how off track we were with the brand. Anyone who's been following Flag probably has saw that. I realized like how off track we are. And as a leader, I was sort of taking a back seat and floating around and distracted by a bunch of other projects and priding myself on doing so many projects. And then last year before Black Friday, I really started to dig in with Flagner Fail and like start to realize that like, I guess, I, I failed as a leader and 
I mean, I came in last winter and I said, all right, well, where's the spring stuff? Because we had a design team at the time and there was nothing for spring and there was nothing for summer. I mean, there was nothing in the works. There was nothing. And the way this apparel works is, uh, I mean, you need to be a few months out and it ended up making us sort of just, you know, miss, miss the second half of winter. We missed spring. I started designing as fast as I could, but everything takes production time. So the brand's been, you know, not the strongest because, you know, we haven't really come out with much. I mean, we have our staple products, but we haven't really come out with much. And I, uh, I feel the pressure, and I like it. <laughs> and I think that bringing this bag to market and the, the things that we're doing really has us on the right track, and it makes me feel really, really good. Really, really good. I've had some nervous nights. But... I've noticed that the harder I work, the more those nights go away. And it's just replaced with fucking confidence. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you watching these vlogs. I'm going to go back in and edit it now and upload it. And at 12 tomorrow, if you guys missed the, the, the bag sale, actually selling and it goes to pre-order, we'll keep you very updated on the pre-order. Um, once the pre-order sells through, we'll have to shut it down and, and, and make people hold off, but <laughs> I'm excited for tomorrow. Go get some sleep. I'm a daily fucking vlogger.